These students are civil engineering students. They're taking a class called hydrology. What they're trying to do is locate places in the watershed where lots of pollution is entering the stream. It eventually reaches the Susquehanna River and the Chesapeake Bay, and there are water quality problems and habitat destruction problems that are caused by pollution and runoff from areas such as ours. After working with the data in the lab, students got to go into the field and actually see if the data that they had created predicted the flow channels. They were very excited when they got to actually ground truth the analysis that they'd done and meet with the landowners and make some recommendations about what the data might tell them about um, land management practices. They were able to actually talk with the farmers that own the property that they're trying to design their projects on and they're able to appreciate the perspective of someone that might be somewhat different than they are and I think that's a really important goal of this class. I've worked with students before on lab exercises that are canned lab exercises where they're just going through the motions of doing an analysis and the difference between that sort of exercise and an exercise where they know that they're working on an analysis for a specific client and trying to help that client solve a specific problem, it's night and day difference. The students get very engaged when they know that they're going to produce something and then actually present it. A lot of people don't understand how their own property might impact a larger region such as the Susquehanna River watershed or the Chesapeake Bay. And I think it's important for people to see how their actions connect with a wider community.